Hello and welcome to this video. Today, let's talk about Digital Video Recorder. That's the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. You can find the link here in the description. Just click it and get yours. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And also hit the bell notification so you can receive more information about videos like that. My name is Claudemir Martins and today let's talk about Digital Video Recorder. Very important for you that you can record your videos from your analog cameras. And here I have a diagram that represents that analog signal comes to your DVR, a traditional DVR that converts and you have an output in digital format. Let's say for SIF, for example, that's the name of the resolution that represents 704 by 480. You can also say that's a 0 0.3 megapixel resolution. Okay. So that's the idea. I'm talking here about the traditional DVR that uses the traditional standard ITU 6 one ITU is the International Telecommunication Union. So basically the engineers, they have a standard to convert from analog to digital and don't confuse with the other DVRs, the modern DVRs that don't use this standard anymore. There are different standards now for different cameras. I'm talking here about the traditional and old cameras that uses TV lines as the representation of the analog resolution, right? So when you talk about analog resolution, you talk about TV lines. And if you don't understand that you, uh, you can get another video here, you can watch another video here in the channel that I talk about traditional TV lines, traditional analog resolution. Okay. So basically you still can find those cameras. If you look for them in a store or in Amazon, you still can find TV line here. And the idea is that you convert them to digital and you use a, around the DVR uses around 450 TVLs, right? TV lines. And then you don't need to buy like a camera with a lot of TV lines, a lot of high resolution here, because in this standard, you don't need it because the conversion is going to be like 450 TVLs only. As you can see here, I have an important note talking about that sometimes, uh, people try to push you some cameras and they say, Hey, I have this high resolution camera with 1000 TV lines. If you're going to use 450, 450 TV lines, why are you getting so many lines here? Be careful with that. If you're using a different technology, that's okay. But if you're using the standard ITU 601, be careful with this kind of guy that pushes more TV lines. All right. So let's move on here to a DVR. So as you can see here, there's a audio input. If you have eight audios input, so you can have an input per camera because this DVR is for eight cameras. And here you also have audio output so you can connect a speaker. So if everything happened, you can talk to your uh, microphone and somebody is gonna hear on the speaker. Here video input for eight camera, one cable per camera, you connect here, your traditional analog camera or your high resolution analog cameras, depending on the technology you're using, they must match analog camera, must have the same technology that your DVR, right? Or you can use a hybrid DVR that handles all different technologies. Here is the HDMI cable, so you can connect to your monitor. And if you don't have a connection like that, uh, you can use a VGA. It's better have HDMI, right? Because today the monitors are not that expensive and all of them have HDMI. So it's better use a HDMI than using VGA. Here, the network, you can connect your DVR to the network. So you can use a software to watch the videos, to play back and do everything you need to. And also USB, you can connect a USB here and then you can back up your videos and also update the, the DVR. Here are alarm IO, so you can connect some kind, some types of alarms and power connection. So you can connect the power supply. So basically that's a DVR and let's take a look here in the front part of the DVR. Here you have a DVD recorder. It's not useful anymore. People don't use because you can have more uh, storage in your pen drive. You connect the thumb drive here in the DVR. You can store, store your videos. So you don't need to use DVR recorder anymore, DVD recorder anymore. And here you can look for your videos, a video search. You can play back. 
here is status leds so you can choose your channel you can see what's going on in either in every channel here playback alarm zoom search and camera controls and dvr menu so you click here you can look at the monitor and see your menu and control everything and set up your DVR. So pretty basic stuff. And here let's talk about the hard drives for your DVR. It's pretty important that you use the correct hard drive. You just place here and you fix it. And then you connect the cables like this, it's SATA cables, SATA cable. And also you connect the power supply and guys, you got to use the correct hard drive. You can't just open up your computer and get the hard drive to use in your DVR. It's not like that. It's, it's a different type of uh, hard drive that works with DVR and, then, and it's different from your computer's hard drive. A DVR has a special need so you can record a lot like 24 seven without having problems. So you got to to buy the correct hard drive. I'll leave a link here in the description so you can have a better idea with hard drive to buy. There's, there are special hard drive designed for CCTV, for DVRs and EVRs and everything else related to CCTV, okay? So don't forget to take a look here in the description so you can download your guide and you can also have information about this device, about uh, recommended hard drive and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave your thumbs up your comments and hit the bell notification okay guys that's all for today and i see you in the next video